Welcome to Logged In, I'm Dominique Foxworth, and a lot of things have happened since the last time we talked. And as usual, I'm too damn old to keep up, but luckily, I have my good friend Sheila here to help me navigate this madness. What up, Sheila? What's up? All right, today, I'm bringing you elephants, carbo slaps, and uncancellation. But we start with music. How are these cyber streets feeling about Beyonce and Drake's new offerings? You know, it's Queen Beyonce. She can do no wrong in social media's eyes, but Drake, they say you got some work to do. Yeah, I mean, Break My Soul, I heard the Beyonce song. Okay. And it was a little, I mean, it was- Firing. All right, I'm scared. I'm nervous already. <laughs> I don't want the hive to come for me. But like, she was talking about, qu I don't know. I just wonder where she gets this inspiration to sing so passionately yeah. about things. Like, it, I felt like the person that was sick of that song is in a cubicle somewhere, worried about their boss looking over <laughs> their shoulder, which does not jive with my image of who Beyonce is. So well, who is writing these and where is she getting this inspiration from? You know, Beyonce's pretty normal more than we think. She's like a burner Twitter. You better stop And it. a Snapchat, for real. She's not For real, normal. yes she is. She uh, pretty normal. She said she can't cook, that's normal. <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> normal people learn how to cook so they can eat. Beyonce is above all is that of this. Is a shot at me? Sheena, like, are we, are we throwing shots now? No, I'm sorry. Beyonce is forever great. We love this song. Drake, on the other hand, I'm not here for this album. Slow clap for Drake. I loved it. What? Yeah. No, all of the yeah. music sounds like, to me, it sounds like it, you're in like a fitting room at like uh, Zara. And somewhere. that's my favorite place to be. <laughs> so I'm really not seeing the issue here. I loved it. I thought Drake did phenomenal. He's not getting pigeonholed into a sound. <laughs> well, he pigeonholed himself into all this dance music sound. Like maybe I'm too old to dance and that's why it ain't hitting for me. I do appreciate some Drake songs, but I, yeah, Check honestly. This. I love it. Go off, Aubrey. <laughs> Do your thing. All right, well, we're going to go with my opinion here because I'm a music like expert because I uh -huh. went to a music festival last week. Whoa, yeah. Yes. Connoisseur. Yeah. You step out the way. Pharrell's Something in the Water happened to be in D.C., so I went to All Days. I saw a lot of great performers, wow. but those are not the viral moments that I want to share with you. I got two. Let's start with this one, Sticky Fingers. This lady picketing pocketed me yesterday, and so many others today at something in the water festival. Hey, she's still a phone. Yeah, she's still a phone. She's still a phone, sir. Yoink. That's madness. <laughs> That's crazy. But she bought a ticket that weren't cheap. Are you sure that she bought a ticket? I mean, if she's Well, people who even had tickets couldn't get in, so. Yeah, she's still in foes. I think she might have found a way in. That's ridiculous. A bunch of them. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. That's not fun. What would you have done if your phone got stolen like that? Go buy a new phone? What, I mean, what, I, I, I would have done this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I mean, if I, if, like, if I saw it, I guess I was thinking that, like, mm -hmm. I didn't know that Set my the phone the crowd's was down. Stolen. Nobody's leaving. Look at security. He don't know what to do. <laughs> it was tough. It was tough on all, all the events. Oh, he just still of her face, just yeah, like. That's terrible. Well, anyway, that wasn't fun, but that wasn't the worst thing, as far as I'm concerned from the Something in the Water Festival. The worst thing, and maybe this is more egregious for people who live in DC and people who are from this area like you, this is Justin Timberlake, not stealing cell phones, but stealing cultures and doing it wrong. Let's see this video. DC, keep your feet. For those of you who don't know, Beat Your Feet is a DC dance that you do over go-go music and it looks nothing like this. That's a river dance. Yeah, so like, Justin decided over Sexy Back to do a river dance and before he did the river dance, he yelled, DC, <laughs> Beat Your Feet. Who told him to do that? I don't know. Who advised? It was terrible. And he has like a history of like appropriating uh -huh. culture, people were giving him a hard time. A history of like leaving Janet Jackson out to dry sure after what happened at the Super Bowl. I don't know what about any of this he thought was a good idea. Like to sexy back. First of all, and I'm not from DC, but I've been here long enough to know that you don't beat your feet over anything other than go-go music. And also, that ain't it. That ain't it. <laughs> and it's like. Who wasn't on your team? Clearly somebody yeah. is not in the room when you make these decisions because... Nah, I think he had an idea that morning. He was like, you know what I should do? He got that on stage. <laughs> <laughs> he got that on stage. He saw a TikTok and said, I'm gonna go for it. Like, <laughs> Well, don't. He's a professional dancer. At least learn the dance or bring somebody else up on stage. Honestly, I think he's like the type of dancer who does like the same five moves like Neo oh. and just think he can dance. Oh. I can't call it. Okay. I can't call it, Mr. Well, JT. Someone who we know can dance is back in the news right now. Chris Brown. Is what he is he out of the news? 
What is he doing in my feed? Like I look on the internet, I see people talk about Chris Brown again. Yeah. And wasn't he like canceled at one point? But then he like, like uncanceled. Yeah, it was a short it cancellation. It was a very short cancellation. I mean, he's back in the news mm -hmm. for dropping one of his Mondo albums that have like 80 tracks on it. It's like, Chris, who's, who's listening to this? Like, stop it. But he dropped a video and I love her. Miss Normani is in the video dancing her little life away, not dropping music, but dancing her life away. But the internet's talking like, you hop on a track with an abuser? Yeah, but what I don't understand about that is it feels like for whatever reason, we've accepted Chris Brown back into popular culture. Like maybe you haven't, maybe individuals haven't, but he's been putting out music and he's been invited to award shows. He, has. he be at stuff doing stuff. He does. So I don't understand why people go hop on her like she has to be the like the judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to these things when we can't even stay consistent on that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just want to know. I'm, I'm, I, I, Chris Brown, his music is not so good to me or so integral to my life that I can't go without it. I'm fine if we are not going to deal with Chris Brown anymore. Just like, He make gives sure. us a summer hit. He does. Because that, what was that song? Heat, that had everyone dancing. Yeah. He gives us a summer jam, but it's also like, I don't know if it was the time that it happened, because I was like maybe eight. I woke up to seeing the mugshots of the news. I was like, Chris, it was it was Rihanna, bad. but it just seems like. I was a, I was I a full adult at that time. Anyway, I don't know what we're gonna do about Chris Brown or about cancellation in general. Like we need like a real list. I know people complain about cancel culture, but I'm fine with it. I'll, I'll follow the rules. Just make it clear to me yeah. who we dealing with and who we not. And we can't jump on people like arbitrarily, it seems odd to me that we're gonna say you can't hang out with Chris Brown or work with Chris Brown because he abuses women. And then we play his music, but then the only person who feels any repercussions is a woman for then like presumably advancing her career off Chris Brown's celebrity because he's still a big he's time He's still star. Chris Brown. Yeah. Like, he's still gonna walk in this spot and shut it down. And when yeah. men collaborate with him, we never hear yeah. this whole thing. We never hear the same thing. Oh well. But we're gonna go to something that is pretty sad, but also fun. I'm not sure if we're allowed to laugh at this or not, but I've been laughing at it, to be <laughs> honest with you. Have you seen what these elephants have been up to? I know you've heard about the story of the Indian elephant that killed the woman and then went back and wrecked her funeral, right? He had beef. Like, that's, it's on site, it's on site. I didn't wanna laugh. It's you on mean? site. Like, I'm not mad at it. You can't carry the beef into the afterlife, though. Okay, but when, okay. So the Twitter detectives got to work because you know Twitter is full of FBI <laughs> initiates, and so basically it's not fact checked. But the woman was a poacher. Really? Yeah, and she actually stole the elephant's babies. So the elephant said, "Oh, I got something for you," and it was to trample her to death. And then found the funeral and said, "And I still got something for you because I'm gonna remember this for a hundred years as elephant's memory served them." Yeah, I mean, I think that that makes me feel a little bit better about the story. I hope it's true. I don't know if it's true or not, but we're gonna believe it's true. Everyone knows like elephants are known for their memory. When you yeah. have a good memory, you say, "I got a memory like an elephant." Mm -hmm. So it appears that we should not be messing around with elephants. We do not have footage from either those incidences. <laughs> Even if we did, I'm not sure we'd be allowed to show them. Censored. But we got some footage of some other elephants out here punishing people. Let's see one of them. <laughs> oh yeah, I like this one. Uh, you know what, and good for that elephant. Wow! Oh. <laughs> Whoa, she flew. I, okay, hold on. <laughs> what? And she hops up, I know that knocked the wind out of her. I know that knocked the wind out of her. She had a broken rib or something. But she don't dig in your butt and touch something. Like, come on. Like. Yeah, elephants don't play that. All right, here's another one. People trying to enjoy some sort of meal. Bam. Oh, that was, that was gentle. That was gentle. It was gentle. That was a lot nicer. It was, it was gentle. Just like, get out of my way. That one person stooped down. Like, I don't know what you see, but I'm down here with it. Um, wow. I mean, because it looks like they're in the forest, the wilderness, the Sahara. Yeah. And they had a table with wine. Like, I don't think you're supposed to be there doing yeah, that. Yeah, I appreciate the elephant. Like, if you're going to come out here, then you need to be out here. Yeah, act Don't correct. set up a, a white table and act like you just, <laughs> just going to have brunch on my turf. That's crazy. At home, <laughs> in my home. All right, well, we know not to mess with elephants going forward. Oh. I know I'm not going to the zoo anytime soon or any safaris. <laughs> so let's end out on something fun. What's happening with these TikTok challenges? They're getting a little bit extreme. This new one, a tortilla slap challenge. Oh yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. Can we see an example of one of those? 
Uh-oh. <laughs> the first one I saw. Wow. <laughs> That's oh. ridiculous. And apparently the other person has water in their mouth. Yeah. So you're slapping them with a tortilla so and making them spit the water out? That's confusing. So you want to make them laugh. Who wins or who loses? Do you want to make them laugh and spit the water on you? Because like I'm, I'm not into that. Maybe some people are. I'm not going to judge That's you. a little different. But that's not my thing. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but wouldn't that like, kind of sting, like the Twitter yeah, It seems like it would. So, full disclosure, the producers of this show, they've been wanting us to do one of these challenges for a while. Yeah. And they suggested this one. And yeah, this magically <laughs> popped up today. Y'all should talk about what y'all trying to say. Y'all should try this challenge. Hell no. <laughs> What I'm not going to do is be out here slapping nobody or getting slapped by anybody. I was going to say, I'm not going to be the one getting slapped. <laughs> yeah, so. by, by no bread products. Like, yeah. we ain't doing that. We can do some other challenge. Like, I don't know, some sort of push-ups or something. That's not fair. No, not Why that. would you say that? I don't know. That was very unfair. <laughs> like, we could do, like, a TikTok dance. Uh, that's oh, a challenge. Oh, no, now that seems unfair. I had, I had knee surgery. I'm not going to be able to, I can't. Well, Sheila, it's been awesome. It's been a pleasure as usual. For the people that want to find you anywhere on the internet and see you doing these TikTok dances, where do they go? <laughs> well, y'all can follow me on Instagram at toldby.she or on Twitter at toldbyshe. Oh, man. I do my TikTok dances. I love them. TikTok must be private. Don't go looking for that. And don't come looking for me, as you guys know. If you want to find Anscape on social media, go ahead and go to at Anscape on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And remember, give this video a like and subscribe on our page. Watch the playlist. Beat it. Thanks for watching Logged In. If you like what you see, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to see more from Anscape.